Hello, beloved friends. I'm Reverend Kira, and it is such an honor and privilege to be with you again as we continue this series called The Laws of Spirit, A Tale of Transformation, based on Dan Millman's book. And we are in a week where we are working with each of these three laws every week, and it's been quite remarkable to experience the power of I guess the simplicity of the laws of spirit, the laws of the universe. And then when we start to recognize, oh, how do I apply those and live into those deeply? That's when it becomes the tale of transformation because it transforms us from the inside out. So this week, our title is Do What? Is we've been through from where, who me, why now? And now do what? And Really, each of these are about calling us into a deeper realization of living from these laws. And this one really involves some serious actions on our part. The three laws that we're gonna work with this week are the law of expectations, the, or expectation, the law of integrity, and the law of action. And these are powerful because each time we acknowledge and recognize the power of these, we begin to realign and reattune ourselves to a higher vision and awareness within ourselves. So as we look at our, our spiritual traveler and we acknowledge ourselves as spiritual travelers, we begin to understand there's so much more that we're here to experience and understand. And we can create a different expectation in life based upon what we truly believe at the core of our being. Now, these are not just surface beliefs. Expectations, true expectations, come from what we underlying believe. And that means we've got to get out of the way of ourselves in terms of the doubts of the mind and the, the fears and the places that keep us from going into that deeper realization. Because really an expectation is I realize a deeper law is running my life, whether it's that I trust life, I trust the universe. Um, it is, but if I have a lot of doubt and then I trust myself, and that, you know, we went through faith last week as one of our laws, and this one kind of takes it another le level. So from faith, I now live a life of expectation. I expect good. I expect great things. I expect miracles, whatever it might be. And I expect myself to show up. Now, along with that, we have the law of integrity because I also expect myself to show up and act from integrity. Well, what is that? That's a place of coming into our own authenticity, of knowing who we truly are, of what I am as a divine expression. And then I have integrity, but I start to live my life according to those higher visions and beliefs and awareness of myself as more than just this human form. I am a divine being. And then the last law that we'll speak to this Sunday is the law of action because all things happen through action. We all know the old saying that you reap what you sow, but it is true whether you're harvesting your, you know, your fruits and vegetables from a garden that you, you know, you tilled the soil and you planted the seed and you, you nurtured it and you watered and fertilized and then eventually you get the fruits of your labor. Well, it's true with everything in life that it takes action on our part. It's one thing to watch and say, oh, that's a great idea. It's another to say, oh, how do I put this idea into action? That's when our life transforms. So I'm looking forward to sharing these laws of spirit because spirit is truly at the core of everything that we are and everything that we do. And the more we begin to live according to these, we find ourselves even more alive with the power and presence of that divine spirit. So I am just grateful to be sharing this sacred journey with each of you as fellow spiritual travelers. And we will begin to explore further this week as we continue this series and we'll celebrate with music and laughter and of course all the love that is flowing between one another here at our Unity community, Unity Bay Area, Houston. Come join us 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. You can join us live or online. Uh, check us out at Facebook or YouTube, Unity Bay Area, Houston. We're so grateful to be here in League City and to be holding this sacred experience 
and sharing it with one another as we travel on this spiritual path of awakening and awareness of fulfillment and empowerment. God bless you, friends. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you Sunday.